So, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking today, or this episode, will be a, quite a productive one. Or at least it'll seem pretty productive since a lot of the stuff I've done off-camera. But there's also going to be some cool stuff. Yes, very funny Maki. I don't even quite get what the potato part of it was about. I think it's just him being r random. So, yeah, this is the uh, Tower of... Mm, that I'm building. I'm not quite sure what the name of it. It's the tower from Lord of the Rings, the Eye of Sauron watched from. Uh, if you know what that is, I'm sure you do. But yeah, right now there's, there's snow that's spawning on each layer that goes inward, and it's really quite ordinary and bland. It doesn't look quite right, and it's still going to be a lot taller right now. I'm just uh, keep on getting nether brick and smelting nether rack as well. Yes! Ho oh. ho! Alright, now, if I relog. Yay! <laughs> I caught him! Alright, sweet. Got my very own zombie guy. Ow. Alright. What should I name him? Ooh, I know. He looks like he's selling pumpkin seeds or something. Uh, gardener. Awesome. That is perfect. <laughs> Of it. Oh yeah, don't know if I noticed this, but <laughs> I had uh, placed a sign next to Mr. Mackestein's base, which he's got this giant worm for a portal, and so I placed a sign, you've got worms, quad. <laughs> and so now he came back and put this here. <laughs> and then uh, I noticed something else. Wow, came by. <laughs> and he placed this sign here. So, very funny. Well, yeah, why don't you write your own jokes? Sheesh. Man, let's take this out since I am in no need of worms as of this moment. Th thanks for the thought, though, Mackie. Uh, and good. Alright, here is Wout's. Uh, Pro er, iron farm that he's been building uh, here in the spawn chunks there's a portal here he goes yay <laughs> oh, there he is. the first test I think that he's done and he's got to fix this sounds <laughs> like we go in here Gave my little guy a yellow shirt, and he looks much, much better. Mm. Right, he does seem to be stuck inside this block here, but I'm not sure if I want to like make him even closer inside that block, because then he might, like, if I go outside the chunk, he might go through the block. So I've been building a gold farm on the reflex river, uh, fairly close to the iron farm and spawn. Over there is a hopper shop I made, and it's still not quite finished. I need to set up the catching thing, and also need to turn on these portals and get rid of this gravel pillar that's here. So yeah, I just wanted to do that real quick. Um, and I've got uh, the thing is with large portals, like for every portal block, there's a chance that a uh, zombie pigmen will spawn. So with large, large portals and a area the more that will spawn and then they'll walk off the edge thinking that they can walk onto this but they can't so they'll fall through and I'll have something to pick up the catches that or catch the stuff that they drop.
so beautiful. I mean, granted, the spawns are so tight, uh, are very, very small since we're still in easy mode. Uh, in hard mode, there'll be more spawns from the portals. Ooh, there it goes. And I've still got no catching thing for all the drops. But I just love the design of it. It's like perfectly symmetrical. I actually had to go through and place the trapdoors in one section uh, the correct way so that they'd all be facing the right way. It looks just so good. I love it. It's like a flower or something. I don't know. It's pretty. Uh, oh yeah, and it leaves this really cool kind of design on the ground during nighttime, which is actually pretty good so I can know how far it goes out. Like right here is a corner where it goes to uh, a 2 by portal. And I'm still getting some drops around, but uh, a lot of the drops will probably despawn. How much? Five gold ingots or nuggets so far. So yeah, I have to build the catcher thing for this and I'm gonna do that with um, hello. <laughs> we're gonna do that with the uh, hopper mine carts running along underneath and yeah that's gonna be pretty cool so I'll get w working on that. So I was told by a Mr. Mackestein that um, I was supposed to be recording as I came on and when I last Got off, I was AFK near his farm. So I'm figuring it out. Oh, okay. I'm recording. Check. Uh, mate. I think. So yeah, I'm still at his farm. Unless he moved me with pigeons. Oh, hold on. Did he move me with pistons? All the way up into the air? <laughs> uh, good one. That's really funny. Uh, let's see. I'm going to leave that there because he's the one that made it. So I'll let him ooh, be the one that has to tear it down. Oh, <laughs> it's just like that. I see. Man, that must have taken forever pushing me up with pistons. I guess it wouldn't take that long. <laughs> that must be the world limit. Because oh, oh, shoot, water. Whew. That's good. <laughs> All right. Well played, Mackestein. I will get you next time. Look at these two. Asking on signs instead of going through with action to take out this hideous mess. I mean, it's obvious it's nobody's house. Uh, there's that there, so they built around that, which isn't part of their property. And it's basically right here on Wow's property. I mean... He should be the one that's going through the trouble of taking this down, but look, I guess I'm the one that has to go through taking care of everyone's business. I guess that's what I have to do. So I am the hero of the server. I may not be with the, the hero that is carrying the item of the quest. <laughs> so, I decided to make a quaint little shop here on the server. Until uh, Mr. Mackestein made this giant ice peak that blocked everything, so the only way to see it is when you come around here. But still, I made a nice little shop, and I, lo I love the way it looks. Let me just climb on top of somebody else's shop. I forgot who was. Uh, maybe I go. Uh, used um, a lot of iron from Wout's farm by AFKing there quite a bit, and using what was left. And it's a hopper, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a hopper and a chest, but it's a hopper shop so that I make the hoppers for people and they come and sell it. And I actually was able to sell uh, some for a bit. So we'll clip making my very first sale in a new shop I just made from Mr. Mackestein. I haven't even finished the shop any. <laughs> oh, shoot, <laughs> three stacks. I only have enough for, ah, uh, dang it. Uh, Here's the first, first stack. <laughs> I thought he was just buying one stack. <laughs> Dang it. Went through all the process of building everything for it. Uh, <laughs> get wood. <laughs> okay. 
Hopefully he won't be too mad because I took his full block of diamond. <laughs> Needs three stacks, so I need two more. That's like four more stacks of wood, which it should be fine. Uh, yes, sir. With an extra B. <laughs> So yeah, I made it. Uh, I guess I originally made started making this road, and then Macastein came over and helped out with it. And then I started building my shop, which is going to be called Quads Hoppa Shop, something like that. And yeah, and then my first customer came when I was grinding XP at his house, and then had to <laughs> hurry up and get some. And then he had to leave, so I will make a chest for him, since he already paid me. And then leave the other two stacks right there, and leave a sign for him as well. So yeah, that's, this is my shop, I suppose. Dang it. So, as you saw, I made quite a bit of money, uh, plus also I sold, I think, two extra stacks after that. And then, this happened. Apparently, Wout, the creator of the iron farm, was not too happy with me <laughs> uh, making the giant hopper going into the chest and then selling the hoppers that I made with his iron. His iron. I'm using air quotes, but you can't see that. So, his iron that he didn't make. It, just the farm made. Okay, so he wrote this. To whoever owns the shop, this is not how the public iron farm was meant to be used. It may not produce a lot, but I spent over 10 hours building it not to have one person that's me, take over 90% of the iron and sell it to fellow players as if it's theirs in the first place. The farm produces 10 stacks per IRL day, which should be enough to keep up with everyone's private needs. So this is in a private business? Like tools, small machines, and community builds like beacons. It does not produce enough for cosmetic hoppers <laughs> made out of cauldrons, which costs more than actual hoppers. <laughs> he's, he's pretty wordy. Uh, which, which, don't follow him on Twitter. He'll, he'll just spam your entire timeline. <laughs> which costs over 16 stacks of iron, and, is sh and it surely doesn't produce enough to be claimed as private property, which can be sold for diamonds. Look, whoever you are, I don't need names. I'm not mad at you. You can keep the cosmetic hopper and the profit you made so far, but please don't continue this unless you are actually selling your iron you mine yourself. To end a bid on a different note, Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs, but not every man's greed. Gandhi. Anyway, I hope you you change your shop. Wow. And so what I did, as soon as he did that, I... <laughs> Closed down my shop, and and I was fine with that. I got, uh, I think, this plus four diamonds, maybe. Oh, yeah, I did raise the price as soon as I uh, sold my first three stacks. So it was four diamonds, and I think somebody bought another stack or something. Uh, and then, <laughs> after I placed this, well, I'll put some signs here, like, about... Uh, I don't have to close it, just to, but maybe come up with a better way for it, and uh, yeah, I I don't remember all of it, but just, let's just put that up. So I have another idea that will hopefully put a better end to this, where I can still keep my shop without it being closed, and uh, I, I won't be taking from his uh, his iron uh, farm even though you know that is he calls it the public farm and then <laughs> after then after a while let's see what is this here for well it's iron farm if you don't take <laughs> 17 stacks of iron for cosmetics <laughs> like how often are people going to be doing that I mean I did it once I suppose that would just sets the precedence for other people to possibly do it. So yeah, I have a solution. Now, the gold farm, this is not a public gold farm. 
apps for anyone to use freely. What this is, is a actual business where uh, one iron ingot per gold ingot. People have their iron ingots and they come and they oops, put that in there. They put in their ingots here and then they can take out nine of these. Um, <laughs> you know how it works. So yeah, uh, and I mean, I don't know where the people will be getting their iron. Maybe from Wout's public farm. Maybe from somewhere else. But anyway, with this iron, I'll be able to make uh, more hoppers to sell to people for diamonds. And what's also great is since this is spawning pigment up there. Hey, walk off. Walk off. Walk. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, I can hit him. No, I missed. Anyway, since it's a, a pigment farm, I'll also get a whole bunch of rot, rotten flesh from it, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> the reason is because there's plenty of villagers up there, I think, that sell emeralds for rotten flesh. Yeah. So, yeah, that would be nice. I'll spawn even more. And then I also have trap doors on all the sides, so they'll walk off thinking it's a full block. They'll fall down here to their death. They'll hit the tripwire hook, the tripwires, which are above it. So, like, say I'm a pigman and I hit this real quick. And then this hopper minecart will go by, pick up any items that they dropped. And when the hopper minecart comes back this way, it will drop all of the stuff in these hoppers here and it'll be picked up here. So yeah, so anybody that's on the server that might want to buy some gold, feel free. I don't care where you get the gold, uh, where where you get the iron for it. Just as long as you pay the correct amount. So yeah, that has been my episode for today. I really want to get more done with my tower. I don't know. I'm not the best builder, I suppose. I did find this neat little trick where if your bed is underneath a block, say like that, and then say it was nighttime and you got in it, uh, these blocks would be invisible and you wouldn't be taking suffocation damage. So I figured that's probably some way that you could use an x ray in 1.8, since most of the other ways seem to be broken. <laughs> Except for all these ghost blocks that I keep on seeing, if you put your head in them. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. Oh, another one just missed the spawn.